Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in and we are kicking off today with this team you can see on your screen here. In front of you yesterday we kicked off with the other version of the Lunala Kyogre team. We played that for one game and then we played this for the other game and... Um, here we are finishing up the week with this team today and tomorrow and then next week as I've been saying all week we're going to kick off with our new Road to Ranked Roulette series which will be a lot of fun. If you want more information leave a comment let me know but I will be putting stuff up on the channel to let you guys know what is happening. The main thing all you need to do if you want to get involved with that series is nominate one single Pokemon on a thread I put up on YouTube. So go over there, nominate and it can be anything. It can be from Caterpie, it can be to Zapdos, it can be Mewtwo, it can be Groudon, Primal Groudon, uh, it can be anything. Anything that is legal in the VGC 2019 format, nominate away. If you would like to see it played, hopefully it comes up on the roulette wheel. And on Monday, we're going to do the roulette wheel with all the Pokemon in it, and we're going to pick that team of six, and we're going to take it forward, and we're going to get innovative, we're going to get creative, we're going to get all the memes going. We're going to see how far we can take this team and have a lot of fun with it along the way, and we'll be doing it together. And that's the thing. I think getting you guys involved is the best thing to do and really does excite me about doing this. So... Getting on to today's episode, just to recap the team, because we didn't really do too much of a recap in yesterday's episode, we've got a dual mega team, which you very rarely see in this format right now. You kind of primarily only see one mega on a team. You're going to have here, we've got Lopunny, which is Mega Lopunny. Did some work in yesterday's episode, and if you missed yesterday's episode, would like to check it out. I'll put a card up there for you. Go check that out, and then come back into this one today. Then you've got the Primal Groudon. You've got Lunala. We've got the other Mega, which is Mega Mawile. We've got the Z-Move on Gastrodon. We've got the Z-Move on Lunala. We've got the Phytinium on Lunala. You've got the Groudium on the Gastrodon, and then we've got Choice Specs Tapu Koko, which has Discharge, which you saw do so much work. Um, but yes, the team is down in the description below. As always, there is a roll paste and a poker paste. Big shout out to Fabian who provided this team for me to play for the latter part of this week. So uh, his handle will be down in the description. Give him a follow on Twitter. He is generally one of the coolest guys you're going to meet in the European VGC circuit. And... Um, always comes up with crazy wacky teams so it's really nice to finally be able to actually feature one on the channel but without further ado let's get into today's episode let's get some pokemon games on the go and as always guys if you do enjoy this sort of content please remember to drop a like on the, the video it does really help the channel uh, do subscribe to the channel we need to get over to this screen and uh, do leave your comments down below um yeah because i love hearing from you guys and even though I haven't got time at the minute to reply to each and every one of you I do read them all and I do make sure that uh, I will get time in the future to get back to how I used to respond to each and every single one of you because I really do appreciate every comment that is left and any kind of support that the channel has from you guys um in other news on the pokemon.com website earlier this week uh, if you haven't seen already there is a power ranking article has uh, been put up and uh, i was one of the the members of the team there was myself uh, poker alex gabby schneider uh, aaron trailer and justin burns who are all involved in putting together the power rankings article for combinations of restricted Pokemon going into the uh, North American International Championships, which will be happening this weekend. Very exciting. So if you haven't checked that out, again, that'll be linked down in the description. Go check it out. I uh, I talk a lot about Lunala Groudon, funnily enough. So uh, I hope you enjoy it if you do check it out. And it's a really nice article. And it was just a pleasure being involved in that. And uh, I'm very lucky to have the opportunity to do that sort of thing. But we've got our first opponent of the episode. We've got Alex. So let's, uh, what is that? Let's hop over the team preview and we can discuss that little ball of spaghetti. Right, we've got a team of Xerneas, Rayquaza, Incineroar, Nihiligo, Tepu Fini, and oh my god, is that... That is... <laughs> it's a Tangela. Tangela, awesome. So Tangela, for you guys out there that don't know, it is quite viable. It has got access to that Eviolite that gives it uh, the defensive boost in special defense and defense because it's a pre-evolved Pokemon. It has things like Rage Powder, Sleep Powder, so it can be really disruptive and a decent support option aside from Amoongus. Um, we know basically X, X-Ray team, what it's going to do. Um... How are we going to deal with it? That's the other thing. I think the, the Xerneas is obviously a pain to deal with. 
Um, hmm. Let's go Lunala. Let's go Tapu Koko. We definitely need more while here. And let's go Groudon as well. Um, do we click in? I feel like we're clicking in. I feel like I'm sad that I'm leaving low pony. More while feels like the better option here. So see how we match up against Alex here. Good luck, Alex. Hope you have fun. Have fun. Um, yeah, and uh, be nice to see some mobile action in today's episode to kick us off with. So we did play that mobile variation of the team earlier on in the week, but we didn't see the best of it. I don't feel. So we're going to see Incineroar. We're going to see Xerneas come out, from my point. Um, hmm. What do we do? We can't really stop the... Um, can't stop the Geomancy, unfortunately, but we can set up a trick room. We can do that, and we can get a... Hmm, we can get a ground on him. Let's trick room. I feel like you do fake out the Coco, for sure. Coco Maluco. Uh, we could get Moal in as well. Uh, I feel like Groudon is probably the better shout at this point, though, because then we can... Deal with that Incineroar a little bit easier going into this next turn. Um, the Incineroar could just attack here. It might not even want to go for uh, a fake out, but this should be fine. Should be fine. I say that. I say that. Should be. Should be fine. Famous last words. Okay, so get Groudon in. Let's see what this Incineroar is going to do. Protect and mm, could be Z move. Ooh, just U turn. Oh, it's going to be Tangela, I think. Which I don't mind at all, because if it is, then we've got the eruption to go. It's going to be Rayquaza. Okay. That's even better, really. I mean, we get the trick room up, don't we? So, I mean, we're going to lose our son, but. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um. Okay. So I'm not really too worried about the Xerneas right now. I'm going to go for a eruption and a Moonguys beam into the Rayquaza. Um. We should break any kind of sash on the Rayquaza. I don't know how much damage we're going to do, especially in. Yeah, we're going to see the Xerneas treat. We're going to see the Incineroar come in. Um. Still all right. We're still all right right now. Requires are going to mega evolve. He's still got a good switch in him more while in the back. We can get the intimidate onto the field if we need to. Both physical attackers. Then we got trick room set up as well. So um, things aren't all bad. Oh, we're not going to see any protect from the Requires, which is decent. Um, don't do too much damage, obviously, with the sun gone and the dragon type in there. But the moon guys beam should do. A decent enough chunk to this Rayquaza, at least, anyway. Um, mm, it's a Soul Fest, for sure. There's the Earth Power. But Groudon, nice and bulky. Nice and bulky. Okay. What I'm going to do is switch into Mobile, and we're going to go for a... Uh, do we protect? Hmm. Just a fake out. The fake out. Uh, I don't know if you do fake out. I don't know. Do you fake out? I feel like you've got to fake out. I feel like you want to get rid of the Groudon because the Groudon does pose a bit of a threat to Incineroar going into this next turn. Uh, we do get Moal onto the field at least here. Um, I guess the problem is this next turn where we're probably not going to underspeed the Incineroar, which is what we want to be doing. Okay, the Red Cars are going to withdraw. Tangela coming out. Ha. Tangela. We do see it. Okay, there's just a snarl, which we don't mind at all, really. I really want to, um, I'm going to press up his blades, for sure, and I'm going to play rough, because I play rough, unintimidated, should be enough to get the incineral. <coughs> um, do I eruption, though, as well? Just if we see, hmm. Just if we see a rage powder, that that would be my only problem, and I don't really want to lose more wild just yet, because I could potentially see a flare blitz and a rage powder coming out. Um, okay, let's bring in Lunala for more wild, and let's press this blades. 
Because I just feel like the Tangela is going to go Rage Powder here. And you're going to go Flare Blitz into the Morwell. And we just don't want that. There's the Rage Powder. So there. We've made the right call. I mean, like, just expecting that. And you turn. And Ray is going to come back in. Oh, no. Okay. I just I was too scared of the Flare Blitz to stay in. Okay. I mean... This isn't the worst at all. Rosania's coming in. I don't mind dishing out some Precipice Blades damage onto that thing. We do hit both targets, so that's decent. <sighs> that's a bulky Xerneas, man. Man, it is a bulky Xerneas. Uh, <laughs> you know for a fact that um, Xerneas is going to Geomancy now. Uh, there's not really much we can do, except go. Hmm. See eruption. I'm just gonna have to press this blades again because I expect another rage powder. Yeah. There's not really much we can do to get around it. This is one bulky Xerneas. So press this blades coming out again. Wingus beam. This Tangela is a monster. Oh, I mean, we we kind we do a decent amount of damage. I wonder if they suspect Wide God. Does D dazzling gleam here, or D just moonblast the Lunala? Because like ideally we get a trick room up, don't we? Um. Huh. What would I rather? What would I rather do? What have I got in the back? I've got more wild type of cocoa. It's not so good. It's not so good. Uh, we can try and trick room, I guess. I think, actually, you moonblast. You moonblast the Lunala here. 100%. I just... That's, that's just what I feel you do. Um... There's not really much we can do to get around that. I'm going to Trick Room. If we can get the Trick Room off, ideal. If not, then we'll get Precipice Blades damage. There's a Tangela going out. Requires it coming onto the field. That's interesting. Moonblast. I'll be into Lunala, I'd imagine. Yeah, stop that Trick Room going up. Wow, we actually take it. We're a beast. We're a beast. We get the uh, precipice blades. Oh, this is this is working out perfectly. I didn't expect the null attack to take that, but that's because the Xerneas is so bulky. Um, now it will go down to another precipice blades here. Now, do we make the call and go for the Phytinium Z into the Rayquaza? Because that's that is what I feel. I feel like the Incineroar comes in on that slot. Let's make a big play and go for the precipice blades and go for that phytinium z come on let it be incineral please come on <laughs> we did it we did it okay let's do it now we can as long as precipice blades picks up the knockout okay we're just gonna say protect we get rid of this fake out support we're gonna have to deal with the tangela coming in next um but we still have precipice blades uh, okay, so ah, oh, ground on ruining all the fun, all the fun there. I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed in you, ground on. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm pleased you're hitting your attacks. That is, that's all we care about. And this additional damage from the Phytinium Z is going to be very, very good in two zones, but. Just for a bit of chip damage. Oh, <laughs> look at the damage. It's like oomph, the tiniest, like one HP. Uh, Precipice Blades definitely gets it from this range, I would imagine. The only thing that we've got to worry about is a little bit is the Tangela coming in. I'm pretty sure it gets Sleep Powder. I, I know it doesn't get Spore. Tangela will come in though. Um, and this is why I probably want to switch Lunala out now for. Tapu Koko 
and then go for that Precipice Blades once again. Because I feel like the Tangela doesn't Rage Powder here, knows that the Precipice Blades is coming, thinks if I can shut down this Groudon, the terrain's gone, then we can we can make some headway in this matchup. But I think if we can just get this terrain up, we can deny that. Oh, it's gone Grass Knot. Okay, but it's into Coco rather than the Groudon. We do hit. And we do. We do slay the Xerneas. So that's excellent for us. Um, now, Rayquaza going to come back onto the field. And we're sitting in a pretty nice position now. Uh, we've got more while in the back. I don't really feel. Although, the, you know, the Rayquaza is a soul fest for sure. So we have to be a bit careful about that. Uh, how many turns of Trick Room we've got left? We got two. Okay. Mm. That's just Dazzling Gleam. I'm not really worried about Coco right now. I'm going to bring Lunala in for Groudon so I can get Groudon back in in the sun. If we can get a Dazzling Gleam off as well as Coco, I mean, that makes such a difference. We're going to see a Grass Knot here into Lunala. Yeah, we're going to see an Earth Power from the Rayquaza. It'll take down Coco for sure. Yeah. Okay. But now we get Groudon in, in the sun. Um, and we get Mega Mowile in as well. We have to be careful with the Earth Power, of course. But the, the problem is that the... Um, if... It, if an eruption gets his Tangela, which I'm hoping it does, um, then play rough. Like the Rayquaza can't protect, so we can. We, it has to rage powder here almost. Um, and hmm, it's a bit tricky. It's a bit tricky because um, rage powder obviously Moa will go first, but then Rayquaza should be in Sucker Punch range with. Maybe nah, it's not going to be, is it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We might lose this one. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, there's the Rage Powder. Tangela putting in all the work in this match. I mean, we've made some nice reads, but still a tough matchup. Okay, single target eruption. I don't think the crit mattered there. I think we'd get it anyway. Player off's just so strong. Um. You earth power. Oh, flamethrower. No. We definitely lose. Flamethrower. It's over. Alex, you've brought us an incredible game to kick us off with today. Um, ah, well, all we could do is eruption, and that's it. Uh, there wasn't any way we could have got around to maybe protecting the mobile there and then preserving it for the next turn where we could suck a punch would have been a way to do it, maybe. Uh, but then we're relying on Eruption to um, to take down that Tangela. But what a good game. Very good game, Alex. And uh, like I say, a nice one to kick us off today. So we will move on. Hopefully find an next opponent. That's always ah, that's one of those games. I get hyped up too much in the match, and I'm like, ah, I really want the win. Really want the win, and then we don't get it. But it's just how Pokemon goes sometimes. X-ray is still a very, very strong call, um, and we've seen it do so well this season. So no surprising that it's still going to be kicking round. I'd imagine it will be until the World Championships, and it'll probably do well there. We'll probably see variations of it there do very well. Let's go trainer version two because I'm too lazy to go any further and. Um, I like Trainer Version 2. We never play it. I know we said it a couple of weeks ago, or maybe last week. Let's play Trainer Version 2, because we only ever play Trainer Version 1 when we forget to play music. But uh, we'll try this one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find an opponent. If it does, of course, I will just cut this, and we'll come straight back to when we bump into someone. And we've got an next opponent of the episode from Japan, running a team of... Let's hop straight into Team Preview. Ooh, it's spicy. It's going to be Rayquaza, Duskmane, Necrozma, Incineroar, Tapu Fini, Nihiligo, and Tapu Koko. So very similar to the X-Ray team that we kind of just played. 
just minus out the Tangela, you're going to replace that with Tapacoco, and then you've got the the Dusk Main, which is going to be Ultra Necrozma as well, uh, over the Zonia slot, so very similar. What can we learn about? Uh, I think Coco definitely is going to be very useful in this game, um, and I'm going to go down the same lines that we did in yesterday's episode with the Coco Law Pony, and then Lunala and Groudon in the back. Hmm, Groudon seems less effective here, but I guess Groudon's so good against Incineroar, Nihiligo, and Tapu Koko, and, and Duskmane, if it is just Duskmane. I don't imagine it's going to stay Duskmane, though, but we'll we'll lock into this and we'll get straight into it. Or not, because our opponent is still selecting, deciding what they want to bring. Um, is it Banded or is it Assault Vest Ray? I'd probably say Assault Vest. More than anything, where's the speed control on this team? Possibly Dusk Main if it's got Trick Room, it has got the option there. Nia League also has that there, but you're probably relying on something like Electro Web from Coco or more commonly the Icy Wind from that Tapu Fini. But we'll get into this next one and hopefully we can redeem ourselves from our first episode. Although it was a, it was a good game, it was a very good game. I did enjoy it a lot. Um, just couldn't close it out right at the end. Tangela, I'm telling you guys, puts in all the work. Puts in all the work. Spaghetti. spaghetti -o. Um, Alright, so Lopunny coming out with Tapu Koko. We'll remember to Mega Evolve this time around. And Rayquaza and Nihiligo. Hoki dokey. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm not too worried about what the Nihiligo is going to be doing. So I'm just going to actually Volt Switch out onto the Nihiligo um, and I'm going to Mega Evolve and I'm going to go for Fake Out into Rayquaza. We'll try and maybe get Lunala onto the field or Growl. Well, maybe Lunala is better. So there's Low Pony Mega Evolving. That pony is a cool mega Pokemon as well. It's got so many options. I do like the quick encore that it has access to, though. I think it's so useful. Um, we'll see the Rayquaza Mega and Evolve. Mega and Evolve? Mega Evolving. If we can talk. Um, activate that Delta Stream. There's a Fake Out into the Ray and... Mm, we're probably better off bringing in Groudon now, considering that the Delta streams went up and uh, the Volt Switch going into that Nihilig are doing 50% damage, which is pretty crazy. Um, we'll get Groudon onto the field. We have to watch out for Earth Power from the Rayquaza. That's something I always forget. You know, back in 2016, like Rayquaza very rarely carried Earth Power. But it is way more useful in this format than it was in 2016. So um, it's something that I do just generally forget about. And it's something I can't believe I do forget about. We're going to see the Sludge Bomb. It's actually going to be into Low Pony though, not Coco. It does pick up the poison there, which is a little bit unfortunate. Requires it does flinch. Um, okay. So, uh, should we low kick the Nihiligo? Or could we try after you eruption? Will that get both? Ooh, I feel like extreme speed probably comes out from the Rayquaza. But does it? Does it, though? That's the thing. Does it come out? Because does it not just want to concentrate a bit more down on the Groudon? Um, let's protect Groudon. Let's be a bit... Yeah, let's 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 bottle it and just low kick that Nihiligo. Try and get rid of it. Um... Getting rid of the Nihiligo makes things a, a lot easier for Coco when it comes back in. Although it can just Volt Switch and get rid of it. Yeah, there's the extreme speed as we expected. Oh, we do actually survive it. And we take down the Nihiligo. So we didn't need to protect Groudon there. I didn't expect us to survive that. We do, unfortunately, go down to the poison. Which is a little bit sad. But at the same time, it's all right, isn't it? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's bring in Coco. Because we can discharge spam now, and we all know how much I love discharge spam. And Incineroar coming in, huh? Okay. Hmm. 
Probably gonna have to leave Coco for later on. Later on, later on, later on. Uh, let's just Earth Power. Incineroar and switch Coco out to, to Lunala. We'll probably see Fake Out into Groudon though. Although I feel like Coco is a bit more of a threat for the Rayquaza right now. Um, so I'd be more, if I was my opponent, I'd be more inclined to Fake Out the Coco here and try and get rid of it if I've got Earth Power. But we're not going to see that. There's the Earth Power. And it's going to be into that Coco. Yep. But we're in a prime position to go for that Z-move into the um, good old Incineroar now. We could just erupt. I mean, we could just double up into the Incineroar. I've got a feeling that... Um, yeah, I don't want to trick room because we've got Coco in the back. I don't think we're going to go down to... Um, a Dragon Ascent from this Rayquaza, which is going to have to go into Lunar with... <sighs> We could worry a little bit about maybe Crunch there. This is the thing, like, Rayquaza is so diverse. It can learn all of these different attacks, and every single one of them hits ridiculously hard. Probably is the best best Pokemon we've got in the format, to be honest. Draco Meteor, talking about that diversity. Here we go. Won't be enough to take us down, so we will get the, the, the Z-move into the Incineroar. Hopefully it's enough to pick up the knockout here. It is at full health, so depends what kind of build it is. If it's a Soul Fest, then we don't take it. Um, and we probably lose Lunala, but at the same time, like losing Lunala now, we get some decent damage onto the Incineroar, and we get Coco onto the field. Um, and we do actually pick up the knockout, which is incredible. Um, and the thing with the Rayquaza now is that Earth Power is way less threatening um, because of the Draco Meteor drop there. So we'll probably see Duskmane come onto the field now. Mm, yeah. And again, I don't really want to. I don't really want to. Um, I'm going to press this blades. Um, Is this a good time to switch into Coco or do we just sack? Do we just sack uh, Necrozma? Uh, Lunala. I'm just going to Moon Guys Beam into the Necrozma and I'm going to Precipice Blades as well. Yeah, we're going to see the Ultra Necrozma hit the field. I wonder if it's physical or special. That'll make a big difference, I think. Earth Power, special. Okay. We do take it. Dragon Ascent. Where are we going? I mean, this Rayquaza is just wrecking itself. Yeah. And I'm kind of hoping now that the Precipice Blades is enough to put this Ultra Necrozma in Dazzling Beam range. Groudon! Two action. Yeah. Oh, more than enough. And I think after the drop, Rayquaza is probably going to go down to two at least, so... Earth Power, after the, the Draco Meteor drop, is not going to be picking up the knockout on Tapu Koko. So, sometimes it requires, a, especially with the Assault Vest variant, is its own worst enemy. Um, just with the drops, it's like those heavy attacking moves do come at a cost. I will say that. Uh, we'll just press this blaze again. I mean, there's not really much else we can do. I nearly clicked into Discharge. That would have been terrible. Um, and we'll, we'll Dazzle and Gleam. It should be enough to get both. Here, yeah, Specs this uh, Dazzling Gleam should be enough to get both. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see. Let's see what my opponent goes for. He might last ditch attempt extreme speed in Earth Power. Yeah, that's extreme speed. Coco does a lot of damage. It really does. Um, but we'll get both here. Um, well, we'll get Necrozma, which is the main thing. Gonna press this blades. Miss. Hacks. He says, uh, I mean, it could also go pretty badly if we, um, if we get crit by extreme speed, couldn't it? It could all go wrong, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident. Coco is just saying, no, 
Muno. So, very good game to my opponent. And we do manage to pull out a victory for the second one today. So, we've had some really good games again today. I really, really am enjoying this team. Um, so, I hope you guys are as well. That's the that's the main thing. Um, we'll wrap things up there, guys. Remember, if you haven't went over to the post uh, in our community section on the channel do go over there if you'd like to nominate a pokemon for our road to rank roulette series which will be kicking off monday next week go over there nominate a pokemon why don't you and um i will see you all for the next one have a great day whatever you're up to make sure you're taking care of yourselves whatever you're doing and uh, i'll see you all for the next one so until then guys take care and bye bye